بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آور کرنٹ سیشن فوکس از آن آبجیکٹوز سلیبس اینڈ لرننگ ایکٹیویٹیز ان ٹوٹل فزیکل رسپانس میتھڈ آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو ول ناٹ اونلی بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا آبجیکٹوز آف ٹوٹل فزیکل رسپانس میتھڈ بٹ آلسو یو وڈ ہیو سم انسائٹس ان ٹو دا نیچر آف دا سلیبس اینڈ دا کائنڈ آف ایکٹیویٹیز دیٹ آر کیریڈ آؤٹ ان ٹوٹل فزیکل رسپانس میتھڈ وین اٹ از یوزڈ ان اے لینگویج ٹیچنگ لرننگ کلاس روم Well, first coming to the objectives of uh, TPR or Total Physical Response, I would say when it comes to the general objectives of TPR, um, the general objectives are to teach oral proficiency at a beginning level. Um, writing comes far later. Comprehension is a means to an end and the ultimate aim is to teach basic speaking skills. So comprehension is not the direct aim or it is not the main aim. Rather, the main purpose is um, to teach speaking, to use language. A total physical response course aims to produce learners who are capable of an uninhibited communication that is intelligible to a native speaker. Here, two aspects are important. One, they are capable of producing uninhibited communication. So, you know, a stress-free, an easygoing, a comfortable um, communication they are able to do. And secondly, communication that can be understood by the native speakers. So, it's native-like ability. As far as the syllabus of um, TPR is concerned, a sentence-based syllabus with grammatical and lexical criteria being primary in selecting teaching items is followed when it comes to the syllabus of total physical response. Unlike methods that operate from grammar-based or structural view of the core elements of language, uh, total physical response requires initial attention to meaning rather than to the form of the items. so that the learner understands the meaning and follows. Grammar is thus taught inductively, not deductively. It is not taught explicitly as well. Asher also suggests that a fixed number of items be introduced at a time to facilitate ease of differentiation and assimilation so that um, uh, as according to the capacity of the learners, a um, limited number of new items is given to them. In an hour, it is possible for students to assimilate 12 to 36 new lexical items depending upon the size of the group and the stage of training, according to Asher 1977. So, you know, the number of the new items to be introduced at a time is to be carefully monitored by the teacher. Imperative drills are the major classroom activity and these drills are actually used to elicit physical actions. The teacher would give commands and through these drills, the students would respond through physical action to those commands. And this is how, you know, um, the learning would take place. Conversational dialogues are delayed until after about 120 hours of instruction, according to this model. Um, so, you know, um, Initially, it is only the teacher who is talking and the learners are just responding physically to that. It is later on, quite at a later stage, where conversational dialogues are introduced, where the learners are also involved in speaking. Other activities that are used are role plays or slide presentations. Um, role plays, for example, everyday situations of restaurants, of supermarkets, of gas stations, etc., are to be role played by the teacher and the students or by peers in the classroom. As far as the role of learners, teachers, and materials are concerned, learners have the primary role of listeners and performers at the initial stage. They listen to the commands of the teacher and they respond by physically doing some action. It is only later on that um, after listening attentively, um, you know, they start speaking as well. So total physical response mainly follow the model of L1, where, you know, um, Listening comes first and speech follows after that.